right, absolute value. What does that mean? Absolute value is a distance, okay? It's basically a distance from zero. Now, what you want to think about, though, and why we talk about these is a distance is always positive, okay? So you want to remember the absolute value is always positive, okay, because it is a distance. So, first of all, when evaluating absolute value expressions, all we do is plug plug in so it says evaluate absolute value these are the symbols for absolute value in case you haven't seen it before okay the two lines like that that means you're going to take the absolute value of t minus 5 so if t equals 3 3 minus 5 is negative 2 so the absolute value of negative 2 so if you have a number line negative 2 is 2 units away from 0 so the absolute value of negative 2 is 2 and then we have minus 7 is negative 5 so that's our answer Okay, down here we have n, which is negative 3, minus t, which is 3, the absolute value of that. So negative 3 minus 3 is negative 6. The absolute value is 6, and then plus 4 is 10. So that's your answer. Here you have a negative absolute value, so you're going to figure out what's on the inside. r is negative 2, n is negative 3, and t is 3. So negative 2 plus negative 3 is negative 5, plus 3 is negative 2. The absolute value of negative 2 is 2, and then this makes it negative, so negative 2 is your answer. Okay. Next page, when we are solving absolute values. So again, what is an absolute value? It is a distance from 0. So the absolute value of 4 is just 4, because if you look at a number line, 4 is 4 units from 0. Well, the absolute negative 4, absolute value of negative 4 is also 4 because that is also 4 units from 0. So when we're solving the absolute value of x equals 4, you could have potentially have two answers. You have 4 because that's 4 units from 0, and you have negative 4. So when we do these, we always split them. When you have the absolute value of x equals 4, we have x equals 4 or x equals negative 4. And that's what you're solving. Okay? When you want when you have absolute value equation, do you want to know e an absolute value equation has two solutions? Two. Okay? Two solutions. My pen isn't quite working. Alright? So when solving absolute value equations, take the following steps. Get the absolute value by itself. And then be careful there. Can an absolute value be negative? So if you ever have an absolute value by itself and it equals a negative number, that's no solution because the absolute value is not going to be negative. And then you split it into two equations. The first exactly as is, the second with the opposite of the side not in the absolute value. And then you solve. So here, absolute value is already by itself, and then we split. You're going to solve when 2x plus 3 equals 7 and when 2x plus 3 equals negative 7. Solve each side. Here we minus 3. So you have 2x equals 4. Divide by 2. x equals 2. And then you solve the other side. Minus the 3. That's negative 10. And divide by 2. x equals negative 5. So you have two equations. Plug it in and check. 2 times 2 is 4. Plus 3 is 7. Absolute value is 7. So that checks. 2 times negative 5 is negative 10, plus 3 is negative 7, absolute value is 7, so that checks. Okay, now let's look at a couple more examples. Let's see, next slide is taking a second to come up. It'll be here hopefully in a minute. Okay, here are... The more examples I was talking about, the next slide. All right, with this one, you have two absolute value of 2x minus 4 equals 2, so you split that. You have 2x minus 4 equals 2, and 2x minus 4 equals negative 2. Solve each one, okay, and solve them separately. On this side, you're going to add 4 to both sides, so you have 2x equals 6, and then divide by 2, so you get x equals 3. On the right side, add 4, you have 2x equals 2, 
and divide by 2, you get x equals 1. Those are your two answers, okay? Plug them in and check them. Uh, over here to the right, absolute value of x plus 3 equals 6. So the first thing you want to do is get the absolute value by itself. So we need to minus 3. So we have the absolute value of x equals 3. Then we split it. x equals 3, x equals negative 3. And you're done with that one. Okay, plug it in and check it. Uh, the next one down. We're going to add the 2 first because you want to get that absolute value by itself. So add the 2. You have 10 equals 5x and then split. You have 5x equals 10 or 5x equals negative 10. Divide by 5, x equals 2. Divide by 5, x equals negative 2. So those are your two answers. Okay. On the next one, you want to get the absolute value by itself. This is negative 2 times that, so the opposite is divide by negative 2. Then we have the absolute value of 5 plus x equals negative 7. Right there, you have an absolute value equals a negative. That's not okay. You cannot have an absolute value or a distance be a negative number, so that would be no solution. Okay. That is it from there. The next slide is you try. So you want to try these. One is evaluate. Okay, the rest are the solve. Go ahead and try them and we'll go over them in the next class.